Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the most famous Ninjago quotes. This was copy and pasted from the Lego forms. If you want to check them out, it, just go to lego.com, click on create and share, and then do message boards. And uh, you can find the Ninjago thing, just click on the right, the thing in the top right corner, uh, and then click Ninjago, and you can read about Ninjago stuff. But yeah, I took all of these uh, quotes from that page, from, uh, like, these are some of the most famous Ninjago quotes. So it's not going to be in any type of order, it's just going to be a bunch of random quotes. So we got, excuse me, but we just magically whipped up this heap of junk, Zane, from Day of the Great Devourer, when uh, they... Uh, used the tornado of creation and created the ultrasonic raider. Who cares about Ninjago? They have Nia for, uh, from Jay in The Last Hope, uh, which was when, after Nia got captured. I'm back to Ninjago from Lord Garmadon. This person says they don't remember the episode. Uh, yeah, when he basically got back to Ninjago because Sensei would let him. You had to destroy my treehouse. Lloyd ZX from Return of the Overlord. I don't remember, actually. Uh, what was happening in that scene. I do not remember that. What's up with that guy? Always in a rush. Jay. This person doesn't remember the episode. Uh, this, I believe this was, uh, yeah, this was the first episode ever of Ninjago. When Kai just went way ahead. Right away. What? And let you all have all the fun? Nia from the first episode ever. When Kai was fighting all of the skeletons. Triple Tiger Sashay. Og. From Cole in Return of the Overlord. When he did the Triple Tiger sashay, sashay. Well, the reason I had no sense of humor is because my funny switch wasn't on. Zane from TikTok, the seventh episode of the first season. Uh, when he discovered that he was a robot. And that uh, his funny switch wasn't on the whole time. That's why he didn't have a sense of humor. I thought about a bimbo from Cole in episode 24 when they were trying to fit in with the Stone Army. So they just said random stuff, and hoped that it was real words in the Stone Army language. Guess they didn't want to send servings these days, just think they didn't check out the merchandise in back coal from the second episode. I believe that was actually the first episode. And then, and then he saw the dragon, and he was like, "Ah, oh, it's a dragon! Stop, that's no coconut. Zane, season 2, episode 24. I don't remember that. And then... From, uh, Sensei when Return to the Overlord, when he whacks Jay on the head and is like, SILENCE! I think I remember that, it's, uh... I can't remember, actually, no, I can't, never mind. Oh, okay, was it a cuckoo bird from Jay from the fourth episode? When Zane said he followed a bird? But you're Sensei, you're supposed to have all of the answers, you have a long white beard, Jay from Rise of the Spinjitzu Master. I kind of remember that one. Sorry, sis, this just became a boys' club. Kai from Return of the Overlord, when Nia turned evil. Cheap, cheap, tick taka. Kai from episode 24, when they were trying to speak Stone Army language. No pizza for you, from Sensei Wu from... Not actually the first episode, third episode. That was a hilarious scene. It's a good thing we were in a museum. Jay. Why is that, Masako? Because we were about to become history, run. Jay from episode 20, the Stone Army. My early assessment... Tells me they must be Garmadon's doing. Uh, when Zane saw that there were doubles of the ninja. My early assessment tells me you will be destroyed, which is the evil Zane from Double Trouble from season two. But it's shaped like a donut! Knuckle from the first episode. That's hilarious. That's one of the funniest scenes in the first episode. He said he found a rock that was shaped like a donut. He's like, he's like, I found something! And then Crunch is like, it's a rock, you bonehead. And then Knuckles like, but it's shaped like a donut! I wonder if it tastes like one when he bites into it. Jay. Nia, objects in the mirror close to the Napier. That's from Day of the Great Devourer. When the Devourer went through the mirror. Hey kid, nice to meet you. And for the record, there ain't nothing in this world I'm afraid of. Cole from the first episode. Even though he's actually afraid of dragons. And apparently he, th he thought they weren't in that world. Never put off till tomorrow what could be done today. One of the most famous quotes. From the third episode. Cyrus Borg, I have a present for you. Cool, a present great. I would, it wouldn't happen to be cake, would it? From, uh, 
It was like, I'm pretty sure it was the first episode of the third season. This isn't about numbers, it's about family. Zane's from episode 34. Titanium Ninja. Famous quote. These are probably the two most famous ninja quotes. And then, support me, friends, for one last time. When Zane jumped on all of the ninja to make it to the Overlord, and then he fought the ninja, uh, not the ninja, the Overlord, but then... Um, it showed a bunch of, like, flashbacks and stuff, and then Zane exploded and died. But yeah, that is some of the most famous Ninjago quotes. I could probably add a lot more on here, but I didn't want to search for hours to make this video. So I decided just to go with these. But if you guys want to see another most famous Ninjago quotes video, then make sure to leave a like. And subscribe so you do not miss that video if I do it in the future. And also, leave a comment if you do want to see that. Tell me if you do want to see another one of these videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and goodbye.